Rabby Creek tonight, isn't there? I thought you didn't feel like dancing. Oh, no. No, Adam, I love dancing. Uh, would you pop me a in a vase for me, please, Adam? We really must get going. I hope you guys have a good night. See you yeah. later. Bye. You too. Good Bye. night. See you, Vince. Bye. Come on, mate. We better get going. No, I don't think I'll come after all. What? Oh, I don't feel the best. A bit crook in the stomach. It's starting to come on real bad. Oh, well, suit yourself, but Sue's going to be really disappointed. Yeah. Life's like that, eh? I have cursed myself ever since for believing your father's side of the story and not yours. But he is my son, and one day you may have children of your own and will then understand how hard it is to believe they can be anything but perfect. You have been deprived of a loving family, Carly, and this hurts me very much. To try to make up for it in some way, I am leaving you a small bequest, which has been in our family for many generations. I hope you will accept it in the spirit with which it is given. Your loving grandmother, Ellen Morris. This is the bequest she mentioned. Aren't you going to see what it is, sweetheart? Oh, it's revolting. It was your grandmother's wish that it remain in the family to be handed down to one of your children and never be sold. Well, I'd want to buy it. What does she think that she can make up for everything that she's done to me with, with a piece of worthless junk? Carl. Just watching a bit of the telly. Oh, it must have been something good then. Yeah, it was. How was the dance? Uh, we had a great time. Didn't we, Miss? Yes, we did. <laughs> so, Adam, um, see the television's finished for the night. Are you going to bed? Oh, uh, no, no. I've uh, been meaning to watch this video I just got. Oh, well. <laughs> Get down, <Vince. laughs> Oh, no. Not in your way, am I? No, no, of course not, mate. No, we belong together. Something completely foreign is coming to town in We Are Seven on Central. I would like to parley with the landlord. He wants to talk to you. He also wants to see this lady. Mr. Bigsby. Now, Mrs. Price. Oh, is Mr. Price in? No. Yes. Hold tight. Wednesday at 8. Don't miss the fun and affairs in We Are Seven on Central. And we're definitely single tomorrow on Central because there's comedy in the first of a brand new series of singles. That's at 9.30. Three champions in one litter and they all eat tender bites. Top breeder Wendy Barrow talks about the way she feeds her dogs. Well, I haven't used fresh meat for a long, long time. Pedigree champ tender bites is very appetizing and it smells lovely. 
Well, as soon as they hear the dishes, food, food, tender bites, ma'am. It's meaty and it's very digestible. It's got all of the good things that I associate with pedigree chum. Pedigree chum tender bites. Top breeders recommend it. Who can take milk, chocolate, weave a magic spell? Kaleidoscope of colour in a crispy coated shell. Eminence can and they do it all for you and make the world taste good. Who can wrap a peanut full of golden sun? In chocolate and a rainbow bring it fun to everyone. Eminence can. The milk and chocolate melts in your mouth and not in your hand. And the world tastes good. It's a fact that 9 out of 10 people still aren't eating enough fibre. So it's worth knowing that in every bowl of Kellogg's All Bran, there's about as much fibre as you'd find in 9 nutritious slices of brown bread. Kellogg's All Bran, a great fibre provider. For so many of those difficult, dried-in stains, there's a modern pre-wash treatment. Vanish! I'll never regret volunteering to be a nurse. But I regretted having to give so much blood. I don't regret getting married. I just regret being such a Mark Bolan fan. I never regret starting the catering business. But for a while, I didn't really have the stomach for it. I've never regretted buying Hitachi. I just wonder how all the sex and violence affects my kids. Chicken disagrees with me, you know. It agreed with you last weekend. Oh, that looks very nice. It's not for you, Mum. It's my Weight Watchers thing. What is it, I wonder? Just salmon and prawns and mushrooms and courgette. And what are the little herbs? They're mine. Nice try, Gran. Salmon and prawn fricassee from Weight Watchers from Heinz. Lower in calories, Heinz in taste. With a camera, a little patience and the right kind of film, you can find an image of hope. Just a few sale prices. We thought were worth pointing out. The North Cotswold Voluntary Help Centre on 0608 51415 has moved to the High Street, Morton Marsh. We wish to expand and develop projects such as the car scheme, relief for carers, gardening and our befriending service. To do this, we need you. Do you have time to spare and share? Ring us now on 0608 51415 or write to the Voluntary Help Centre, High Street, Morton Marsh, Gloucestershire. A community service announcement in association with the Heart of England Building Society. Get ready for live and exclusive coverage of Athletics' big night of the year. See Leroy Burrell, the world record holder at 100 metres. Carl Lewis, Linford Christie, Michael Johnson, the fastest man at 200 metres. The Parcel Force Games, Friday International Sporting Action at 8 on Central. Friday Comedy Drama on Central, Rich Tea and Sympathy. It's hard at my age to get interested in the greenhouse effect. I won't live to see how it ends. Well, I don't want folks at the factory knowing about our... Um, our what? Our, our relationship. What relationship? Two dinners and six arguments? You'd be a real gore over the sticks. I beg your pardon? If you were a horse, I bet you'd jump like nobody's business. Dad! Rich tea and sympathy. You'll acquire the taste Friday at 9 on Central. Now on Central, a country practice.
was that peacock, and then there were the chooks. What peacock? The one on the radio. No living bird made that sound. Yes, that's the one. Oh, if I'd known there was a something out in the yard, there was no way I would have gone out there. There was a something. And it shows you did. That cry came from another world. But all I heard were the girls. And the ghost got away with the chook under each arm. Hungry, was it? If you ask me, those who go seeing spirits have been drinking them. Nobody did ask you, Vernon. Uh, well, there's someone who doesn't believe in young Wiley. Cookie well, doesn't really hail from around these parts. You mean the rest of you really do? Well, the yarn's been going around for donkey's years. I first heard it when I was a little fella. Bob says he comes stumbling almost to the door, crying, help me. Help me or I vanish into hell. The only cries help me is, man. Yeah, that'd be right. Uh, who was he? Oh, it was a young bloke from the city who went droving, got gored by a bull. He cried for help, and all the doors were closed. Nobody would open unto him. So he bled to death. And he a mere bull. Poor homeless waif. Poor homeless waif, my foot. He was cattle dupping when he got gored. If he'd lived, he'd have become a bush ranger. The country was full of them in those days. Like the city is now. Thieves, kids will take anything that isn't nailed down. Still, it was very sad. His grave's still up there in the old cemetery. Young Wiley written on it. Nobody even knew his Christian name. And he still comes back. What, what's he looking for? An open door, I guess. Well, that's asking a lot when a girl's alone in the house. <laughs> I'm the ghost of Fondon Valley. <laughs> Vernon, I do not wish to be overcritical. But there are times when I find you lacking in sensitivity. Do you think he'll come back? usually does. So they say. <laughs> <laughs>